Hello everybody, welcome back to Honeysuckle Homestead Retreat. I am out on my balcony today as you can see the backdrop of Atlanta here. I am out here because I'm going to be harvesting some sweet potatoes that I've been growing in grow bags out on this tiny balcony and I'm really curious to see how many we get so stay tuned. Hi everybody, my name is Desiree. I live and work in Atlanta, but I have a tiny house in the Appalachian Mountains where I'm slowly starting an off-grid farm. I'm a single girl doing most of the work on my own and learning as I go. So come along with me on my journey and I hope it will entertain and maybe also give someone out there a little inspiration. Welcome to Honeysuckle Homestead Retreat. All right, so as some of you know, I have been growing sweet potatoes out on my tiny balcony in Atlanta, and I planted them the beginning of May and the beginning of June. It takes about 100 to 120 days for them to mature, and then the leaves start dying back. They turn yellow first, and they just completely die off, and that's when you know it's time to harvest. Typically, you want to harvest before the first frost in your area. Some people say that if you wait until the actual first frost hits that they end up being sweeter. Uh, I actually don't know. <laughs> it is definitely before the first frost right now. We are in the middle of September here in Atlanta, so it's time for me to harvest. I was really curious to see what I was going to get with this harvest. Last year I tried growing sweet potatoes and it didn't turn out so well. Unfortunately I don't have any video footage of what it looked like last year because that was before I was doing a YouTube channel, but uh, they were very, very small, teeny tiny, like fingerling potatoes almost, and I didn't get very many of them. Last year, I thought I knew what I did wrong. I didn't put any fertilizer on them last year. So this year, I made sure to fertilize the dirt, <laughs> which, I mean, you would think is kind of a no-brainer. But last year when I was doing it, I was just kind of winging it and just saying, ah, let's see what happens. So this year, I got a little more serious about it, and I went out and bought fertilizer and actually fertilize the dirt. I was a lot more hopeful this year, so let's see what we got. Okay, so better than last year, but not what I was hoping for. Um, this harvest was very small, in my opinion. They are not teeny tiny potatoes like I got last year, but they're also not huge potatoes, and there aren't that many of them. I don't really know what went wrong. I did fertilize them with the proper fertilizer, meant for root veggies. I did keep them watered. I had been reading that sweet potatoes do prefer looser soil. I feel like the soil was pretty loose, but maybe I needed to add a little sand to it uh, to make it a little more loose. I'm also wondering if maybe I should grow them in actual buckets instead of these fabric grow bags. I'm wondering if it's drying out the soil too much because I have seen on other YouTube channels where they grow potatoes in buckets, like actual hard plastic buckets, and they have a massive amount of potatoes. I'm wondering if the fabric bags might not be the way to go. And I'm thinking that is something I'm gonna try next growing season is to grow it in just a regular um, bucket instead of these fabric bags. I'm also reading a lot about um, worm castings and how they're like a miracle fertilizer. So I may use worm castings next year instead of the store-bought fertilizer. Those are my thoughts. Please do leave a comment where you think I may have gone wrong if you've ever grown sweet potatoes before. Specifically sweet potatoes grown in containers. I imagine if I had grown them in regular soil, maybe it would have been better. I really don't know. I was disappointed with this harvest. You know, I would love to show on this channel just all the positives and all the good things and 
just all the successes. Uh, but, you know, I want to show reality too. And this is reality. This grow season wasn't great for me. And I don't fully know why. I feel like for me, it's going to be a little bit of a trial and error of figuring out like what I did wrong, what I could do better. Um, I will say I was happy that these potatoes were bigger than the ones last year. And that's probably because of the fertilizer. I just don't know where I went wrong and why I didn't get more and why they weren't even bigger. They had plenty of time to grow and they had the full allotted amount of time. They had a good four months of growth period, even a little bit over. It wasn't the time. It wasn't the amount of time. I don't know. What are your, what are your thoughts? Uh, let me know what you think. Like I said, if, if you've grown sweet potatoes successfully in containers before, let me know what you did. Maybe it's my soil. Maybe I didn't do the right amount of fertilizer. Maybe I should have fertilized them more often. I fertilized them at the very beginning of the season when I planted them and then a little midway through. I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay, so that is it for this week's episode. A little shorter one today, um, but I do appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have watched some of my videos, or if you haven't watched some of my videos, go ahead and check out some of my other videos and subscribe if you like what you see and you want to see more of it. So uh, yeah, that's, that's it. Thanks. I'll see you guys next time.